Hi everyone, it's me Gigi. Welcome back to my place. Thank you for coming by. It's Thursday and I'm sorry this video is coming a little late. I got a late start today and I got a lot of stuff to do. So, but we're sitting down and we are talking about Project Runway All-Stars. Woo! You know if I got notes, we're reviewing something. So, uh, we were on season seven, episode nine today, or this week rather. Um, and it was actually aired last night, but I never get to watch it that night. I always watch it the day, the day after. Um, and I'm not going to go, go into the explanation why that is. I'm just going to say I always watch it the day after. So, um, today was a general neutral, general, blah, 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 gender neutral look. So very androgynous, very available for any sex, uh, throwing out the rules, feminine for masculine, masculine for feminine, you know the routine. I actually really love that kind of fashion. I really respond to that kind of um, often oversized sort of look. I really like that. Um, so uh, the first thing I want to discuss is the first half of the show, which really, let's just get that drama out of the way. There really was not much this week. And honestly, no matter how much they might try to focus on drama a little bit in the show. And I know the producers say, oh, no, we don't. We don't. Well, there's plenty. I'm sure there's plenty of positive things that happen throughout the day and nobody makes you put the, the negative things in. You just choose to do that. And I guess that is being honest because a lot of people are negative. I'm just saying It sounds disingenuous to say that you're not trying to show drama when you're purposely showing drama. So I don't really buy that nonsense. But I do like that, and everybody in the show, even the designers will say that even when they are showing your dirtier sides, um, they are being really honest about it. They're not overblowing it. And so that's one thing I do appreciate about Project Runway. So the drama from this particular episode was just Sean Kelly was being a little bit catty with that behind the jacket comment. If you need to hide your face to say something boo-boo, you should keep that shit to yourself. Did your mama not teach you that when you were little? And that goes for everyone, not just Sean Kelly. I, I could take that lesson sometimes myself. So let's all internalize. <laughs> then the only other thing which I thought was actually pretty fucking scandalous was Irina and taking somebody who's still working on their project's machine to work on something frivolous. That was really unacceptable to me. And maybe if she had spent the extra time on her look, she wouldn't have been in the bottom. All I'm saying. That little dress she made, if she'd put that shit on, whatever. Whatever. So that was the only drama, and I'm sorry I'm being a little bitchy when I'm talking about catty. Catty, catty, catty. So let's move on from pettiness and go straight to that runway three minutes into the video. That's not too bad, actually. You know me. Chatty, chat, chat. So, um, again, me and the judges didn't 100% agree. And I will be honest, with one really huge exception, I liked everyone's look. And the person whose look I didn't like shocked me because I almost always enjoy his clothes, even when they tend to be a little slutty, which he does often. Um, and that's Dimitri. Dimitri was in the bottom for me and the judges. Uh, my other bottom, which I only reluctantly put her in the bottom because I didn't see as much design in her work as I did in, say, Michelle's look. And they were so similar but I just thought Michelle had elevated hers a little bit more. But I I only put Christina in the bottom because I didn't know what else to do with her, her and Dimitri. I, she should have just been safe, but I didn't want to put Dimitri there by himself. They really hated Sean Kelly's look, which I actually thought was very inventive and very interesting. But the more I looked at it, the more I have to agree I didn't love it as much as I did some of the others. Um, and so maybe I would have actually switched Sean and Christine as I was looking at it later. But I'm just giving you my, these were, as they're coming down the runway, these are my thoughts. 
Now, Michelle's, for me, she was the winner. I loved that look. I, I, I know that um, Georgina was making fun of her little exes. I thought that was cute. I, I thought that was very inventive and an homage to what the challenge was. So I thought Georgina was being kind of a bitch about that. Uh, as an aside, I thought Georgina's hair was just adorable. I love that cut on her, and she looked great. Um, I'd already talked about Dimitri's. Irina, I really liked it. I don't know why all the judges didn't really like that coat. I thought I would slip that on with a pair of jeans and a white tank top and rock that shit. So I really dug it. Um, Evans was also so cool. I do not know why he was safe. That urban cow person funky club cowboy vibe i i loved it i loved every second of it i'm not sure it was you know street fashion it was more club fashion but i still dug it and anthony um for me he was safe and they had him on the bottom um for me the only reason he was safe was the same thing that the judges pointed out and why they put him on the bottom it's the same coat he did earlier that you could draw on if he had just put that plastic stuff over the top, I'm not sure I would have told the difference, honestly. So, loved it, but this is all stars, boo-boo. You have got to elevate your shit, okay? Um, so, now the judges. The judges put Sean Kelly and Dimitri at the bottom, and they had Evan is safe. He was the only one that was safe. Um, and their tops which honestly, some of their bottoms and tops were mixed. Like Sean Kelly, he was definitely a bottom, but some things were liked and some people liked his look. Um, same thing with Irina, she was a bottom, but again, there was a mix there. They liked some of her stuff. Um, for them, the winner was Christina and they loved the simplicity of her outfit, which I, I agree, I loved it too and I, to me, no one was in the bottom this week. I only put a B next to her name because I didn't know what else to do. I just, I don't really grade who's the winner or the loser until I've seen the whole runway show. And so as I'm reflecting back, I'm like, I don't know who to put at the bottom. So I put her and Dimitri. And to me, honestly, I think I would have sent Dimitri home. I certainly wouldn't have sent Sean Kelly home. But they sent Sean Kelly home, and they gave the hot the top prize to Christina. So congratulations, Christina, and we're gonna miss you so much, Sean. I love you to pieces. You're a great designer, and I can't wait to see what else you do. So that is that. If you noticed, you're right. I did break a nail. We're gonna fix that today. And honestly, while I was polishing it, I knew my apex was too small, and you can see right here, like in comparison to the rest. It was too small, so this is on me. This is not the product. Cannot blame the Acryl Gel for this break. This is 100% me. And honestly, all of my breaks have been my fault. I am so pleased with this Acryl Gel. So if you're curious about that, there is a video, and I'll put it up in a card up here that is talking about purely about the Acryl Gel, and I think some nail polish. So I will put that up in a card up here. Thank you guys for coming by. If you stayed to the end of this video, I love you to pieces. Thank you so freaking much. Mwah. Since you're still here, go ahead and hit all those buttons. Boom, boom, boom. Not this one. This one. So I keep thinking, before I leave, I keep thinking I want to get to a point where I can show the looks while I'm talking about them in editing. But then YouTube recently changed its rules so that if anybody else's content is in your video, they can put a strike on you and three strikes you're out. And so I'm really, really concerned about that. So I'm not sure what to do about that. If you have a suggestion or if you know, because it's a review, it should be fair use, but they're really hitting people hard, even people who are using it correctly. So... I'm not sure what to do. If you have an, an option or you know uh, whether or not what I want to do is, is okay, leave me a comment. Um, you know, just leave me a comment anyway because it helps the channel. And be sure to thumbs up and subscribe and ring my bell and all of those happy things. Thank you so much for coming by. I'll see you tomorrow. Or maybe even like, no, no way later today, but probably tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs>